Hello, I'm Matthew, three-time Magic Champion and Magic Coach living in Cambridge. And today I wanted to talk about uh, fatigue in Magic and being a magician and what it's really like uh, after 13 years being full-time. Um, I, I just got back from a booking today actually and I was thinking about this on the drive home um, and I put a post up on Instagram and I thought I'd talk about it on here as well because it's really important I think for either for other magicians to hear this um, or just for people that are aspiring to be full-time, what it's kind of like at times. And there's this certain fatigue which hits, and I think anyone that uh, starts to get paid for their hobby or paid for what they love doing has experienced this kind of feeling of, I really don't want to be here, or I really don't want to do this thing, but I'm going to do it anyway because A, I've been paid to do it, and B, I'm a professional. At least for me, this is how I feel. Um, and I'll always love my job, um, but there are definitely times where I fall in and out of love with magic. And um, recently I've just noticed myself sort of getting closer and closer to the time of performing and it's the, the excitement isn't kicking in until much later on. So before, like go back 13 years, it'd be the day before I'd be excited about the booking, you know, then the day of getting ready, driving to the booking, then performing. And then recently it's been a, kind of my experience has been the day before going oh, I've got to go to work tomorrow like I'd much rather be working on other stuff and then driving to the gig kind of like okay I'm driving to the gig and there's this kind of like turnover point where I'm about I don't know 15 minutes away from the gig and I start getting excited about oh, what all the people are going to be like or if it's going to be good I wonder you know what the energy is going to be like etc and so I'm sort of getting closer and closer to the point of performing and I know that when I start to hate performing when I'm in the moment performing a piece of magic and hating it that's when I need to get out of the game I'm not at that point yet and I hope I never get to that point um, but it raised a question in, in my mind which was you know what what happens when that happens and why would that have happened and I think what what I've realized is when I hit moments of falling in and out of love with magic it's because there needs to be there needs to be a point where I listened to that and I realized that it's actually because um, I've I've hit a point where I've learned everything I need to learn and nothing is, is a challenge anymore. And it's a signal for me to go, okay, I need some growth. I need something new to, to come in. And so recently um, my repertoire has just been, it's been the same repertoire for quite a while now. I occasionally put a new thing in every now and again, but the core of my repertoire, the things that I do at a booking, um, it's been the same for a very long time and it's very difficult to put new things in because I, A, I know my material inside out, I've selected it really well, the stuff I do is incredibly strong, it goes down really well with audiences every single time. Um, so to put something new in, it's almost like taking a risk, it's like having you know, your children that you've bought up, these pieces that you know are going to work in certain ways for certain people in certain scenarios. I know how to change the wording. I know all of the jokes and everything that goes with them. I can take them in, you know, hundreds of different directions to then suddenly put something new in that I know nothing about. It's quite a daunting idea. It's quite scary. And I think part of that is because uh, I'm scared of not being as good as I know I can be to a fresh audience, which saying that out loud sounds ridiculous because anybody that's seen me for the first time knows nothing about my history and knows nothing about how good I could be um, so really it's kind of it's kind of nonsensical um, I'm really in competition with myself and I'm getting in my own way and so I need to remember I need to remember that and I think for, for anyone else that's watching this and has experienced this kind of stickiness with uh, with progressing and kind of falling out of love with magic it could be for different reasons you know I've fallen, fallen out of love for magic um just just for the people like uh, christmas is always a period of time where i feel this kind of falling out of love you're doing 15 gigs in a month or however many uh however many gigs it's a busy time back to back bookings and there's always one booking which doesn't quite hit right and if that's because my energy is wrong or you know the audience are a certain way and i couldn't manage that as, as good as i could have so i kind of come away from that booking going man why am i doing this and then I start to have all these thoughts about, oh, you know, maybe maybe it's time to change things up or do this, that and the other. The, the, the next day you have like the best gig ever and you go, ah, that's the reason I do it because of that. And so this is kind of these ebbs and flows, these waves of being really into it and really loving magic and then just kind of falling out of love with it again. Um, and recently I went to Buffalo to 4Fs, which is like the world's most exclusive uh, by invitation only magic conference like the top 250 magicians globally 
get invited to go to this conference, I'm a part of that 250 people, which is an incredible, uh, incredible thing to be a part of. Um, and I feel honored to be a part of that group. And going along to that, I thought, I thought beforehand it would be really good if I came back inspired and falling in love with magic again. And I did. I came back, I fell back in love with magic again for a couple of weeks. And then some personal stuff happened and uh, and yeah, it's just been it's just been a tough, tough few weeks since getting back. Um, and yeah, today I just sort of was performing, loving it, getting great reactions. Um, but I know within my heart I need to change my repertoire and spice things up a bit and put some new stuff in. And so I think what I've learned from all of this, what the takeaway from filming this video for me is, is to recognize that in these moments where it doesn't feel quite right or something doesn't feel like it's just, it's not really giving me that hit of dopamine uh, and I know I'm not doing my best. It's a sign for me to go, okay, I need a challenge. This is a, 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 uh, a moment of stagnation and I need to, to grow here. It's an opportunity for growth and to challenge myself. So, uh, so yeah, for anyone else that's kind of hitting that point, uh, I hope this video is useful. Um, and yeah, if you're still looking to become a magician, then I'll offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you want to get in touch with that, it's givingmagic.com, which should be in the description down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys, in a bit.